All right, and this is, in section 16.3, it's really a business application uh, using the integration. And it's talking about that in some instances, money flows in and out of accounts almost continuously, like bank receipts, payments, store income, et cetera. There's always this flow. If you're in a store, you're paying in money, they're getting rid of merchandise. There's always this continuous flow. And so there is a formula for the present value of money flow. And this is at time t. I think I have that written there. And so the present value is the integral from 0 to the time t of f of x, whatever the function is, times e raised to the negative rx dx. It's not a formula you'll have to memorize even for the final. That's a formula you'd be given, okay? So on this online, you're going to be fine because you're going to have all that in front of you. But even on the final, you're not going to have to mem memorize that. And the other formula is called the accumulated amount of money flow. And if you compare these two, what's the difference? What's happening in this one? If you look at this one and this one. Well, inside, isn't that exactly what that is? So what are we just doing? We're multiplying e to the rt times this. That's it. You don't have to integrate again. The deal is, in these problems, you're asked to find the present value and the accumulated value. Well, once you've found this, all you have to do is multiply it by e to the rt to get the final. All right, so you'll have to do two, two problems within one, but once you've got this, you just multiply it by this to get the second part. It's really just using a formula, okay? All right, so let's look at these problems. Okay, kind of big. All right. The function f of x equals 500, so there's your f of x, 500, doesn't have an x in it, that's fine, it's still a function, represents the rate of flow of money in dollars per year. Assume a five-year period at 5% compounded continuously. Find the present value, so that's that one, and find the accumulated amount of money flow at time t equals 5. So what's our r? It's 5%. We're going to use 0 0.05 for that. And t is what? 5. So those are the numbers you needed. You needed f of x was 500. You need an r, which is 0 0.05, and you need a t. So if we go down and look at putting that into the formula, I think I have it here done. Okay, so I rewrote the formula for you. There's that, and that's something you would be given. And then from 0 to 5, f of x is 500, e to the negative 0.05x dx. So here's the integral. First thing you want to do is pull through the 500. So you have 500 times this integral. When you integrate e to something x, how do we integrate that? It's e to that over the number there. So when you would have this, 500 times e to the negative 0.05x over negative 0.05 evaluated 0 to 5. So when you're plugging in, you're just putting in 5 for x there, just plug it in there, and ultimately here. Okay, and so that's calculator work at that point, e to this. Be sure if you're doing this on the calculator that this whole thing is in parentheses, e to the negative 0.05 times 5, and then divide by negative 0.05.
be careful doing that. And let's see if you can come up with 2211.99. Try that on the calculator and make sure that you can come up with that. Looks like most everybody was getting that. So that's the answer to the first part. That's the present value of the, the money flow. And then the second part said, what's the accumulated? And we said, once we found this, all we have to do is multiply it by e to the rt. So it's e to the rt times p. I'm calling that. That's present value. So I have e to the 0.05 times 5, which is all in parentheses, times 2211.99, and you should get 2840.25. So make sure that you can get that using your calculator. Everybody okay with that one? Is that okay, Gio? I'm going to ask you to do the next one on your own completely. So if you have my notes, like turn them over. Um, let me see. Where are we? Here. All right. The function is 1200e to the 0.03x. Oh, that's a little harder. A little harder. It's okay. We'll be okay. And 5% and the T is 10. So let me go down where we have that written larger. Sorry. So there's the integral for the present value. 1200 e to the 0.03x e to the negative 0.05x. Do what? Yes. Is that right? Is that right? Somebody has the problems. It is 3%. Yes, T is 10. What would be the first thing you'd want to do? Pull the 1,200 through. And then if you notice, you've got these are multiplied together. They're the same base. What can you do with the exponents? Add them. So that would be your next step. So this is a little bit more. I was going to have you do it all, but ultimately that's what you end up with. So you can go from there. 1,200 times the integral from 0 to 10 of e to the negative 0.02x. So ultimately, we should get 10, 8, 7, 6, 15. And the only thing you really need to remember about here is the integral of e to the kx is e to the kx over k. And that's the rule that you would need for that one. But other than that, it's really not that bad. And you can do this calculation stuff on your calculator. So that's, that's really not bad. All right, that's the present value. 
And then we have to find the accumulated value, which means we're just going to take that number and multiply it by e to the rt. So should get that. Just be careful with your parentheses on this raising e to that power of that product. You want to be careful with that. But you should get 17,931,74. Questions on that? In real life. Let's go back and look at it. Flow of money in dollars per year for some company. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, okay, presently, what's the money flow? After 10 years, what's that going to mean for us? So the money flow after 10 years was significantly higher. It wasn't that much of a difference up here when the time was five years and the function was a little bit different. So someone did figure out the functions. I'm not sure where that came from, but they did. All right, do we need to do the third one? Or are we pretty well got that? The notes? Oh, number two, the answer. There. Okay. Um, the notes are all there, so the number three is worked out for you. We just won't, we won't go over it right now. So let me.